Hi, I'm Al Bundy. We're here at the New Jersey State Assembly talking to state legislators on this special edition of Meet the Leaders brought to you by Altice USA. My special guest now is Assemblyman Benji Wimberland. How are you doing, Benji? I'm good today, Al. How are you doing? I heard there was some changes going on here. We were supposed to talk about redistricting some more, which I thought had changed. Was that a fair process, or what do you think about the redistricting ideas? Uh, I, I mean, I was in support of what was in place already, and I could understand the concerns of the many, you know, organizations and groups that had their concerns. I think, you know, it's something that's in place. I'm confident that the people who have the opportunity to place people on the redistricting committee will do the right job and do the right thing. There's other states that are already getting all kind of controversy and scandal. We don't want to follow that trend, do we? We don't need that, especially after the great midterm we had here in New Jersey. It shows that, you know, the process for Democrats in place has worked for us. I mean, the House seats that we picked up, you know, I don't think anybody thought that was possible, mm -hmm. but we did. Now, the park exam, uh, which has been uh, in the news a lot off and on for the last three or four years, I understand there's been some modification, less evaluation of teachers. I think a portion of it's been reduced. Give me your reaction. I, I think it's good. I mean, the park, as we've talked about before, I think this doesn't work as, as it is. I think only two other states really use the park exam, and particularly being a former teacher myself, to be evaluated is not very ambiguous because being a teacher in an urban center is a lot different than being a teacher in an affluent area in New Jersey. And unfortunately, New Jersey is a state of have and have nots. Mm -hmm. you know, and as you know, we're one of the most segregated states when it comes to education mm -hmm. in the United States. Let's stay with our education, higher education, the governor's education opportunity grants. Uh, he has a pilot program. Uh, what do you hear about that, your support for that? Oh, I fully support it. I think, you know, Junior college or, you know, after high school should almost be free for everybody. But, I mean, I know there are some thresholds that you have to meet when it comes to finances and stuff like that. I just think it makes for a better economy. So if we get those young people to get out and they don't become encumbered with a bunch of loans through college and they could get through junior college, then they could transfer to any state college probably in New Jersey to get their undergraduate degree. So I think it's a win-win for the state of New Jersey and a win for the economy. Mm. Affordability, trying to keep the state affordable. Taxes are still the highest in the nation. Um, what's your... I, I mean, that's something that we have to work on. I mean, we as a state, you know, being in the metropolitan area, we're always going to have a little higher taxes with Connecticut and New York and Pennsylvania being right here in Bournemouth. And Delaware seems to take a different route when it comes to taxes. Yeah, but they're really good at it. They're the best. <laughs> we need to take some lessons from Delaware to see how it can work out. But, I mean, economically, they have some great economic uh, engine going down in Delaware when mm -hmm. you're talking about job opportunities and housing and things of that nature mm -hmm. and affordable housing. You know, obviously being the chairman of housing and community development, that's something that we have to address. I mean, people cannot afford to buy at home. These are the things, but when you have so many abandoned homes here in the state of New Jersey, we have to realize that we have to come up with a new way to make it work for everybody. And this really crosses, you know, all areas from the urban areas to suburban to the rural New Jersey that people just can't afford housing and can't afford their property taxes and their mortgages. What are we doing about foreclosures? That, that's something we have to work on. I mean, I think we're number 47 in the nation when it comes to foreclosures. I mean, that's, you know, not a good thing for us. It's something that we have to work with our banks. We have to work with our, uh, you know, other lenders and, you know, uh, municipalities to make sure that we keep people in our homes. Because it really, in the long run, it helps. If you keep abandoned homes, that's not a good thing for mm -hmm. any area. Plus, the banks don't want the, bu the buildings. No, they definitely don't want that, <laughs> yes. Before we go, fares increasing at New Jersey transits continuously. But yet, we got a lot of problems there. Um, transportation is a big issue, especially New Jersey transit. Yeah, Share I, with me. I, I think, you know, the governor has taken that head on. I think the legislators have taken that head on that New Jersey transit definitely is an area that we have to work on to make sure it's better. I mean, everything from, you know, being on time to being updated to, you know, you name it. Mm -hmm. you, you hear everything when it comes to NJ Transit. And I think it's something that this administration and legislators need to put at the top of the list when it comes to New Jersey residents and making sure that their transportation is in place and it's also affordable. And plus it keeps people working. Yeah, keeps people working. Gotta go. All right. Been talking to state legislator Benji Wimberland.